but this is my path. For the Silver Sisters. Birdie told me Doom himself showed up where you reside. While that bodes ill for you and perhaps for us all, at least he's quite the looker, isn't he? Need to recharge. Salutations. Salutations. Let us together shine this night, O oh moon. I know through your headmistress of your vision in which Kronos found and captured the Three Fates. This must have been a key component of his plan, but it does not change ours. The Silver Sisters never cede control. Please make your choice. Twilight Curse. You shall be feared. Done. Yes, yes, recall when last we spoke with your grim father, niece. He never was the most sociable sort. When we stopped hearing from him, we figured he was simply in one of his moods, not in the clutches of Kronos. I'll drink of you. There's some new cocoons there. Don't, my friend. Just... You don't need to look at me like that. You don't need to look at me at all. Look at the fineries I've made. Silk in every shape and color, see? It's beautiful, isn't it? It is, Arachne. But to think I could have wronged you with an inadvertent glance just now. It's just I'm concerned for your safety out here. Oh, there's no need for that. You see, my form included certain benefits. I get to live a long, long time to enjoy it. Besides, just because you found me here doesn't mean just anybody can. Well, what do you think? I'm comfortable in this. Now you enjoy, all right? Keep on spinning. This place again. Salutations. the three fates. That isn't good. Not sure what we can do about it, Em. At least now everybody on Olympus knows. I figured it was time. Got us a bit on edge, though we do hide it pretty well. Most of the ancient edifices that once housed the dead awaiting judgment within Erebus have since been taken by the woods or by decay. It must have been magnificent. Some nightshade seeds. Not thirsty, but hey. Oh? Huh. Must want something to eat. Missed all the fun. But at least you won't have to get your hands dirty this time. Nemesis, what are you doing here? Who's standing watch at the crossroads? They'll manage. I'm on break. Tell Hecate you saw me, you'll regret it. And you're welcome here and safe, seeing as I cleared the path for you. I don't need your aid in this, other than the responsibilities you've already been assigned. Really? Look like you could use all the aid you can get. Here's something for your trouble. Then I suggest you move along. Don't mess this up. <laughs> ah. Hermes urged me to address a certain matter with you here. However, my view is you are unprepared for the surface as of yet. Meaning you won't lift the wards barring the path to the surface? What if I remove them myself? 
I've seen how you do it. Then you'll be more prepared than you are now. Till then, remember your objective lies below. Past me. Continue to grow, whilst I continue thusly testing you. I prevailed. Kronos. Greetings, little one. If there is one thing on which the accursed fates and I agree, it is that all eventually shall decay. All spring from nothingness, and back into that chaos, we shall all return. You merely hurry it along. Your father's wretches within Asphodel so into trespasses. There must be a way out. Cease this whilst you have the opportunity. Like waking from a dream. You're in my way. Dear Goddess Hestia, I hope you will accept this offering. It's a pleasure to have met someone with your warmth, wisdom, and strength. Well, look at you, making me offerings. Such hospitality. And while I throw most customs to the flames, the old exchange of gifts is one that I don't mind. So here, something from me. Something from Auntie Hestia. Depths are you, dearie? Underneath the sea? It's hard to get a blazer roaring when there's water all about, but if you can handle the pressure down there, I can bring the heat. On with the show. You know, I thought the sirens were supposed to be the singing ones, but it's always you flapping your gills at me, Skilla. Don't listen to her gals. Your backup vocals are the backbone of this act. I've got the voice, you've got the music, we've got the magic. Let's give her a little taste, huh? This song's good. Come on, Brown. <laughs> just won't shut up. Oh, don't you hiss at me. Speaking in the customary way of mountain nymphs. Some sort of curse. 
Some sort of curse. Sort of curse. forth like a gash across the underworld's heart and even hateful spirits know to stay away need to keep pushing forward out of here <sighs> moonlight guides you you know already don't you my lord about the three fates that Kronos has your sisters in his thrall Lord Moros is safe with us at least Do you truly think so? <laughs> that ferryman having a fire sale there. Don't want you paying an exorbitant amount. Not that there ought to be a price on blessings anyhow. The guardian at the gates of hell. <laughs> Three-headed Cerberus tempers his boundless rage and hides for now his fangs. You're looking better already. You just don't know when to quit, do you, Trouble? Fine. See you later. <laughs> Curses. Cerberus! Shade Rot. Why pick the bones oh. from this place? Greetings, Father. All bound in chains of hardest adamant, the erstwhile lord and master of the dead now as a prisoner within the realm the fates themselves decreed was his by right. I'm sorry, Father. The savage watchdog looks tentatively at the princess of the underworld. Some other time. Salutations. Greetings. When Kronos took our family and the house, and you bade the Witch of the Crossroads take me, I remember it somehow, or dreamt of it. Did he demand you tell him of the fates? Possibly. He did. Perhaps the fates themselves permitted you that bit of insight. He did his worst to discover where they hide. Though it would have failed, even if I did possess the knowledge that he sought. Wait, you never told Kronos how to find the fates? Then how did he? Because he's captured them. Not long ago, perhaps, but nonetheless, I'm certain of it. This is true. Well, then my father's plan for conquest is much closer to fruition than I thought. I do not know how he could find the fates. But if they can do nothing against him now... Daughter, what chance do you have? We have every chance in the world. Granted, that is all. Thank you, Father. The tyrannical titan's stolen fortress beckons, for the moment undefended and exposed, either because his forces have been scattered, or his certainty of victory complete. Or perhaps both. <gasps> I'm home. Hello, my girl. 
You saw your father out there, I presume? He required a special arrangement. For eons, he incarcerated countless souls within this place. Not to mention me. It seemed only fitting he should have to waste away accordingly. You couch it in morality when vengeance is reason enough. Though since you've reasoned it all out, by what right did you take the other members of my family? And Nix and all the rest? Why, because they opposed me. Except you have this rather vexing knack for resisting some of my time-honored techniques. A recessive family trait, perhaps. Although your brother, he was not so fortunate. You too shall break, however. Soon enough. expect would change this time. No, I could have beaten him. Kronos underestimates me still, which means I have a real chance to vanquish him. One of these nights, you ought to ask Headmistress how she got this from the house. You have returned! Salutations. Who summons me? You've been staring at that picture more and more. Happy family. Well, it's starting to get to me because I think it's starting to get to you. Don't get all misty on me, Mel. Thank you, Dora. Though you needn't worry. I won't get lost in memories because there isn't much for me to remember. I just wonder what my brother and my birth parents were like. Uh-huh. Sounds awful lot like dwelling on the past to me. Nothing you could have done. Hey, you could be doing nothing right now. I'll give it some thought. Or don't. Lord Moros is away. The Fates. They need... <laughs> Headmistress is away. I need to make my own way to the surface. It is done. Shipment for you back there. Salutations. Salutations. So, there's a bit of a new wrinkle in our plans. We've been able to verify some of the details that Master Hermes suggested to you about what's brewing on the surface. Please tell me what you may. And if you think it wise for me to deviate from my objective to address whatever's going on up there. The forces of Kronos gather to sail on Olympus through a channel cut across the land. You're poised to disrupt the enemy ranks from within. Aid Olympus, and your chances against Kronos may improve. The warded pathway leading up should drop me right into the heart of our foe's forward garrison. It seems so reckless. Call it a calculated risk. Grow strong. Oh, what have we there? You're safe here. <laughs> Princess. Moonlight guide you. Keep practicing. Had one of my dreams, Nem. Your mother was there. And my father. He showed concern for her. She... 
was under the Titan's spell. Mother Nyx made a mistake in trusting Hades with so much of the Underworld. This realm was never his by right, not till the fates decided otherwise. Mother worked hard. They were probably just trying to send her help. You're saying the fates granted my father authority over the realm of the dead just to give Nyx a hand with all her responsibilities? That's right. Huh. The unhappy goddess of comeuppance casts her judging gaze on all within the crossroads, which she safeguards out of duty and of spite. Don't want to get on Nem's bad side. Whatever. Stay strong, my friends. A shipment's arrived. As promised. Shouldn't be too long. May moonlight guide us. I shall, my lord. Until then, we each have our tasks to complete. Shades of the dead, reagents in the pot, heed now my plea, become what I have sought. So mote it be. Power to create. How about the pick? And another thing. Um, stand up straight. Death to Kronos, Commander. Knock him dead, kiddo. You're beginning to fill out that keepsake storage case, young one. Fine work, yet I must caution you not to collect just for collecting's sake. The act of giving is its own intangible reward. Nectar sours when it's offered with impure intent. Won't have impure intent on my dead training grounds. You're awake. Moonlight guide us. All of us. The influence of Kronos is much stronger in Oceanus than here. He attempted to ensnare me in a vision of another time. A field of flame. Yet you were able to elude his grasp. An aspect of your condition we expected would come into play as you pushed closer to our foe. Continue with still greater caution nonetheless. Do you have a moment? Moonlight guide us. Proceed with care. If I may, Princess, the faded list of minor prophecies, have you been able to make use of it? I have. Thank you for bringing it to me. So then the fates already know what's going to happen in all this? Everything I'm going to do? Well, yes and no. The faded list says as little of your future as necessary. I briefly was its host myself and saw there but a single prophecy that I would pass it on to you. Then that's a prophecy fulfilled. Welcome, Lord Charon. Of all this talk, I'm about Kronos abducting the three fates. Impossible. A ploy to take us off our guard. Don't go believing everything you hear, my niece. It wants some of my life essence before letting me in. Ugh, fine, it's only blood. Where in the... Who in the... 
What sort of boon is this in such a place? Well, in the name of Hades, Olympus, are you there? Olympus cannot hear you, Spawn of Hades, but I can. And I have for you a proposition that assists with the quandary of mine and benefit your response. Almighty Chaos, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. But what sort of quandary would concern the origin of all existence? And how do I fit in? Time shall tell. But at present I have inferred that your response in essence was affirmative. Thus may our newly formed arrangement prove most interesting. Accept my mark and go. And later I shall open the abyss for you again. live with the side effect for now. <laughs> to think the goddess of seasons herself is my grandmother. I am honored to have made your acquaintance. I see the witch of the crossroads taught you not just strength, but grace. I hereby accept your offering, and have something for you as well. A gift from Grandmother. You could have informed us, informed me, whilst you grew supple and strong in the Witch's care. Yet knowing Hecate, she must have deemed the risk too great. I understand. I'll try to understand. Grown so tired, flat. Why, hello there. Each time I pass through Erebus, it's comforting to know I may run into you along the way. Here's something for your lovely lair. Oh, why, this is very sweet. It should attract a host of flies, I think. So thank you very, very much. Now, won't you please take this? It's only fair. Arachne, this is beautiful. Peace, Arachne. Take care out there. Now oh, you don't truly think I weave all those cocoons you see out there myself, do you? I weave faster than anyone, though even I'm not that quick. That does make sense. So instead you command a massive hidden army of spiderlings, standing at the ready to do your bidding. Oh no, most of them hang upside down rather than stand. Come now, I'm not the only spider in the woods. The others keep to themselves, but they do listen sometimes, I suppose. <laughs> How does that feel? <laughs> I'm ready. The will of chaos. We experience a mild discomfort. Within the silence of the infinite abyss lies infinite possibility. The limitless and unseen building blocks of all that has ever been conceived and all that shall ever be. It's really quite a lot. Gold coins, Harrigan. Move along. Sometimes I get a little boost from Artemis, but you. Just about all Olympus backs you up, and even still, it's not enough. Somehow they are. Direct your criticism to the gods themselves. Now what is it you want with me? Want a little taste of all that power for myself. Come on, I'll trade you. I said I don't need your aid. Watch yourself, Nem. I'm out. A moment of reprieve. Just a small sip.
be afraid. Again? So you're a witch or something, I'm to understand. Then what do you need me for? They have that fancy magic of yours ain't all it's cracked up to be. My work, Witchy, is reliable. The Forge of the Heavens. I sensed your presence. There's not much glory in confronting adversaries one to one. I myself invoke shades of the dead to alter the odds. Some may well favor you instead. Perhaps if I brought with me a legion of animal familiars next time, headmistress. Not that any beast would bear its fangs at you. You jest, yet a familiar may be of considerable benefit given all that you have to do. A possibility to think upon once you are rid of me. Bring an animal familiar along next time, if but to keep things lively for me. We have the means to keep them safe, even in scuffles such as these. Faith of familiar spirits. They should work on Freenos, or perhaps the Titan. How fair you, little one. You yet persist, despite my generous attempts to dissuade you. Then very well. You carry on as the distraction which you are, whilst I turn my attention to matters of greater import. Oh. Keep practicing, Skilla. Death to Kronos. It's not an easy trip, or even possible for you right now, heading all the way up here. But just imagine how hard it is for our family to swallow our pride and ask for aid. Things are that grim. You wish to see your father's domain, do you? A glimpse of the past, or one of your nightmares? You wish your nightmares to become reality? It's like, yeah, just all of it. It's, oh, it's too much. It's never enough. What's it's all about, this? You know. What? Don't you get lonely sitting here, staring into those waters? Especially in a place like this. Lonely. I don't know the meaning of the word. I have the best company you could ever ask for. Me. Lord Charon, Moros returned. He's joined us at the crossroads. Now we've no fewer than three mighty sons of Nyx within our ranks. Granted, one's always fast asleep. Forgive me, I must not have understood. Hypnosis of greater use this way. I call upon the moon and draw you down. The boatman Charon is familiar with every twisted pathway through this world. Yet I provide for him my light, nevertheless. He need not always find his way alone. Your choice? We are bound. A wonder world workman yet eludes the grasp of Kronos, does he? Turn to a life of the piratical smuggler in these dark times, huh? A boon awakened. One of those 
golden urns that I revealed. Still practicing, are we? Oh, always wanted to sing in front of a great big crowd, you know? And not just a bunch of crusty sailors, but like one of those gigantic amphitheaters they got up on land. Not my area of expertise. Do performances in these amphitheaters typically involve attempts to drown the members of the audience? Oh, yeah. Immortals show up to them in massive droves, kicking and screaming just to get a glimpse. <laughs> Yet you get a show all to yourself. One, two, three, four! <laughs> I hate her. That's all for tonight's show. Hello again, Echo. How have you been? How have you been? How have you been? How have you been? Oh, you know, this place sure is a change from Oceanus, if you've ever been. About the only friendly face up there is that Narcissus. Is that Narcissus? That Narcissus? That Narcissus? That Narcissus? Wait, your voice. You know him. Oh no. Knowing all his suitors, and knowing you're here in the land of the brokenhearted. 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 See you next time. Safe, Lord Charon. Not going to hurt you, Cerberus. <laughs> Finally, the vengeful princess overcomes again the hellish monster standing in her way. You're free again, for now. Having quelled the fury of the fearsome triple-headed monster Cerberus, the Princess of the Dead stands poised to delve into the pits of Tartarus, where waits her lifelong foe. We're now so close, aren't we? Hello, Eris. You don't look so happy to see me, babe. And I haven't even done anything yet. Okay, gotta go. What did she do to me? It's you. The triple-headed guardian of hell does not wish to be troubled at this time. May moonlight guide us. Here. I know not how you withstood the Titan if truly you confronted him. Quickly now, tell me about this. Have you been... Are you well? Am I... well? All my life I've been preparing for this moment. To bring the usurper of the House of Hades to justice. So, I'll have to get back to you, depending on how it goes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get back to me if you must. I'd grant your vengeance if I could. But this is all that I can do for now. Yeah. <laughs> 
losing to a bag. Olympus, I accept this message. Now. Pure glimmering gold. A metal shunned by the true king of the underworld, not just for its softness, but because it was favored by his titan father. A stark reminder of a bygone age. It's shiny, but so what? A few more chambers still. <coughs> Come closer. The course of history is mine to shape, yet you continue vexing me as though you wish to do so in my stead. Fine, what shall it be? Shall I just go ahead and cede my rightful throne? You don't set the course of history. Your time. You're just the paving stones we cross along our way. More than getting back at the gods, you're getting back at the fates, who know your rightful place in all of this. I do, in fact, take issue with the fates. Though they ought to be none of your concern or anyone's. Imagine being free to make your own decisions now, only to long for the weight of their yoke upon your back. How pathetic. You slip through my grasp, but I shall catch you yet. Ugh. Again. Where does Kronos find those blasted satyrs anyway? You don't remember them, besides this painting and your dreams. Still, you fight for them. Hey. Oh, hey, Mal. I was just floating. Floating around, I guess. And existing. Just kind of existing a lot lately. You? Failing? Making progress? I don't know. Speaking of, shouldn't you be practicing your haunting, Dora? Oh. Yeah, no, I thought maybe I'd take a break from that. Why well, do now? What you could do later, right? For the sense of accomplishment? May moonlight guide you. I'm staying right here. Some spirits of the dead forever wander aimlessly, whilst others, lacking even so much will, merely linger in a single place. Dora does need to get out more often. Not happening. Where's Lord Moros? A matter of time. You all right? Last night, Headmistress, I traversed a gate that led me to the depths of chaos where I met its host. I've heard so much from you of Nyx, yet somehow I never expected to meet her mother and father. Of all creation, not just her. An audience with primordial chaos. <laughs> I'd not entirely expected that. Although given that Nyx herself has not been seen since Kronos took the House of Hades, I am unsurprised. There is no fury like that of a parent bereft of their child. Does Chaos seem an ally to us, then? I believe so. Well, thank you, Nyx, for that. There's more I can do with this cauldron. I need pure shadow to permeate the surface wards. So what if... You're here, Lord Charon. <sighs> huh. 
I'll have to see how much Kronos still loves his gold after all this. The good thing about traitors is their loyalties can be bought. Another shipment already. Right on time. Lord Charon's gold rewards. Now we wait. One, please. Greetings. Up you go. Huh. Kind of moss I need only grows on the surface. Grow and flourish. Why not send Nemesis to the surface in my stead? Even if I undo the ward sealing the path, I don't know that I'll last long up there. The matter on Olympus isn't as personal for Nemesis as it is for you. And she hasn't been especially receptive to suggestion recently. No, I suppose not. I got you something. rise it'll be worth the wait it's cooking still nemesis must have a head start and what are we to do merely stand by and let the titan have his way Death to Kronos, Commander. Yeah, kill him. The incense and the smoking stuff from that altar of ashes over there, it's energized the shades about this place. And me as well. I'm pleased to hear it, Commander. Even a brief visit to the altar on a given night helps make me feel more prepared. Keep doing what you're doing over there. Again, huh? They're saying you got all the way to Tartarus before. How far'd you get? Make it all the way back to your rightful home? If you're referring to the House of Hades, then yes, I did make it there. Though you could best describe it as the House of Kronos at this point. He was waiting within just as expected, and was strong just as expected, too. Too strong, you mean? Well, can't fault you for trying. So what's the plan now? Keep throwing yourself at him till you're totally demoralized? If that hasn't happened already. The task remains the same. Fair enough. The fates protect you. Moonlight guide us. To your success. Lord Moros, you said before you think Kronos is going to influence the weavings of the fates. You mean he's going to try to change the future? Force a favorable outcome? Yes. I think he's already trying to do just that. Unfortunately for him, the three fates can be a bit headstrong. I trust they may be quite resistant as captives. I can't imagine Kronos tolerating insolence, whether from your sisters or anybody else. How he must hate them. When he was overthrown before, that was the outcome of a fated prophecy. Indeed. As for now, I sense there are no weavings happening at all. No new futures foretold. Kronos believes he has no prophecy to fear. Yet I believe this is an opportunity for you. To make a better future for us all. <laughs> <laughs> 